Let us look at question number two A, and this is again of two thousand and nineteen past year paper of econometrics. What is it saying? It says you have the following information. You are given summation x, summation y, summation x y, summation x square, summation y square, and n. And it says that all C L R M assumptions are fulfilled. Then find out beta one hat, beta two hat, ninety five percent confidence, and R square. Okay, let us start by going ahead and finding out beta two hat. Beta two hat can be written as summation small x i y i by summation small x i square. If I just try to open this up, this will be summation x i minus x bar y i minus y bar upon summation x i minus x bar whole square. If you try to open this up, you will get summation x y. Try multiplying this minus y bar summation x minus x bar summation y minus x bar y bar upon summation x square uh, minus summation uh, x x bar into two plus summation x bar square. Now try to understand that x bar is a constant. X bar is a is a constant. So if x bar is a constant and y bar is a constant, what can happen in this case, beta? What we can go ahead and do now, we can just so try to listen to me very carefully. We can just bring these x bars and y bars out of the summation first thing. So this is the constant getting multi getting summed up n times. So I will go ahead and say this as summation x y minus y bar submission x. Now I will just multiply and divide y by n, right? Minus x bar. I will just multiply and divide by n minus x bar y bar upon summation x square. I will bring x bar out of summation. This will be summation x left. I will just multiply and divide by n plus n x bar square. You don't have to show these steps in exam. You can directly remember the formula that I am deriving. I am just taking some time to derive it. So you see that this will become x bar, right? So this will become summation x y minus n x bar y bar. Acha, sorry, just one thing, beta. Here, bhi submission hoga na. Here also you will be having a submission. And this will be plus. So, ye bhi submission hai. So, when you sum x bar y bar n times, so here n x bar aajega. So, this will be minus. Ye bhi y bar ho jayega. So, x bar y bar into n plus this is getting summed up n times n x bar y bar upon submission x square minus. Ye bhi mean ho jayega, beta. So this will be 2n x bar square plus n x bar square. 2n x bar square plus n x bar square. So this and this will cancel out and you will be left up with summation x y minus n x bar y bar upon summation x square minus. So minus 2n plus n. So minus n. Right. So minus n. So minus n x bar square minus n x bar square. This is the formula of your beta 2 hat. You don't have to, again I am repeating, you don't have to derive this in exam. Isko directly bas exam mein use kar sakte ho. You just have to remember this formula. Isko yaad kar lo that this formula that is written like this can also be rewritten. Usko hum is tarike se bhi lik sakte hain. We can also rewrite it like this. Now, summation xy is given to us as 204200, right? Minus n is given to us as 10. x bar, mean of x. So, summation x, beta, dekho, yaha pe dhyan se dekho. Summation x is given to us as 1680 and n is given to us as 10. So, mean of x will be summation x divided by number of observation, which means 160. 8. So here you will go ahead and here you will be getting 168 and y bar ka sum 111 upon summation x square 1315400 minus number of observations are 10 and mean whole squared. 
So mean is 168 whole squared. Mean is 168 whole squared. So when you will be going ahead and you will be solving this, you will get beta approximately as 443 by 829. Please recheck these calculations beta. So this will be approximately 0 0.534. It will be approximately 0 0.534. Now let us talk about beta 1. Hai na? So isko agar main beta 2 bol deti hu, let me just find out beta 1. So beta 1 will be y bar minus beta 2x bar. So uh, mean of y kya ho jayega? What will be the mean of y? Mean of y will be summation y divided by n. That means 1, 1, 1. Minus beta 2 ka value kya hai? 0 0.534. And summation x will be what beta? Summation x ho jayega? 1, 6, 8. So this will approximately be 21.23. it will be approximately 21.23. That will be the value of beta 1. Am I clear for this? Okay, now let's look into the second part. So it says establish 95% confidence interval for beta 2. So confidence interval will be beta 2 hat plus minus its standard error into the value of Z or P. Okay. Now, uh, in this case, we will take the value of t because we have a small sample size. n is just 10. So, I will be taking the value of t. Now, in this question, you are not given the value of t. So, which means that in exam, you will be given a t-table. In exam, you will be given a t-table from which you will have to go ahead and calculate the value of t. So let me quickly just go ahead and show you a t-table first and then we will continue this question. We just downloaded a t-table at level of significance. So I am going to check at 95% confidence level, which means 5% level of significance. And since my n is given to me as 10 and the number of parameters are 2, so n minus k will be 8. So I will be going ahead and checking for 8. And I will be checking for 5% level of significance. But this is a confidence interval. Whenever we find confidence interval, you need to make sure that you realize whether you are given value for one tail test or two tail test. You have to always go for a two tail table, right? But suppose in exam, they only give you a one tail table. So, now we will two tail. Ke liye kaise karenge? Then, instead of looking for 0 0.05, because we have to split tails in both tails. I will divide 0 0.05 by 2, which means I will get 0 0.025. So, confidence intervals, ke liye, you always check for two tail. So, yato you directly use a two tail table and waha pe you will check at 5% level. Or you will go ahead and if you are using a one tail table, if in exam you are only given a one tail table, so in that you will not be checking for 5%, you will be checking at 0 0.025. So I will go one level up here and one level up here and I will go ahead and get the value as 2.306, 2.306. So going back to the question, so the value of T that I have got, this is going to be 2.306. This is going to be my standard error plus minus and the value of beta 2 hat, this is going to be 0.5348. I will leave the question here itself, right, beta? Why? Because in order to go ahead and finding the standard error of beta 2, I would need the variance of the error term, which is not given to me in the question. So since it is not given to me, it means that they are expecting me to leave the question at this end only, right? So I will simply leave the question at this. Now go ahead and look into the third part. So the third part goes ahead and says, find out R square. Okay, now let's try to go ahead and let us try to find out the value of R square. So R square formula is N summation X Y minus summation X summation Y upon N summation X square minus summation X whole square under root N summation Y square minus summation Y whole square. This is going to be the formula of R square. This is how you can go ahead and find R square. 
Okay, now what you will do, you will get n as 10, summation xy will be, summation xy will be 204200, summation x will be 1680, summation y will be 1110 upon under root n is 10, summation x square will be 315400 minus 1680 whole square. This will be 10. Summation y square is given to you as 133300 minus 1110 whole square. Simple. Just put these values in the formula. You are already given this, 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 this. Everything you're already given. You just have to go ahead and plug it in this formula. So when you will be plugging it in the formula, you will get the answer as 0 0.9688. Now suppose someone goes ahead and asks you, interpret. Interpret this thing. So but first of all, please verify this thing. I'm leaving it up to you to verify the number, right? So uh, it's a simple calculus. Carry a calculator in exam. Try to just do this uh, question and when you will be interpreting it so whatever value you get here so you will get 96.88 percent of variation in y is due to or can be explained due to variation in x this is how you can go ahead and interpret this give me a minute let me just quickly go ahead and verify the answer for you so 1680 into 1110 minus okay 2042000. So the numerator is giving you 177200. Let's look at the denominator. So in the denominator, you are going to have 31. Five four zero 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 minus one six eight zero into one six eight zero equal to so this is uh, the first part is giving you as five seventy five point eight four and let's look into the second part. So I hope that all of you will be able to go ahead and find the under root, right, beta? So this is going to give you one three 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 zero 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 minus one 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 zero into one 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 zero. This will give you three hundred and seventeen. 0.647. So if I just do 17200 divide, 177200 divided by 575.84 divided by 317.647. Um, it is it is approximately giving me 0 0.9687. This is correct bit. Right, so the answer is 0 0.9687. So 96.87% of variation in Y is due to the variation in X. Okay, beta, thank you.